Happy 2021, y'all. What the heck is going on? How are we doing? Welcome in to the stream. I hope we're having a good one there. Welcome to the community showcase. Bra, 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 bra. I still need to get an air horn noise so we can do like excited air horn noise stuff. Oh, I didn't switch the screen. Bam! There we go. What's up, everybody? How are we doing? How are we doing? Hope we're all having a good one there. Glad we're all hanging out for the Saturday Community Showcase stream. We have a big day today. We're going to be doing the Community Showcase stream uh, for what could be a while. We have a lot of zoo files today. So we're going to be looking at a lot of um, kind of work in progress zoos. And I think one fully complete zoo, if I remember right. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and work in uh, the Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. We're going to start to work on Claire's restaurant there. So that should be very, very exciting there. But how are we doing, Holly? Roove, I love your zoos is here. Heather G is always here, of course. Uh, we had Andy in the building as well. Lion Rider is here. And that's right. This is the first actual Drew stream. This is the first stream of 2021. First stream of the year. We did it. We did it. It took two days and we did it <laughs> linda's here as well linda actually made it she's not behind the clutches of holiday busyness anymore she is uh she's free and available and uh ready to do some more planet zoo streaminess there right right yeah she was giving out um she was giving out samples of linda brew Linda Brow. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Because again, I don't know. We could be here for a little bit for the community showcase. And that is perfectly fine there. So yeah, probably survived uh, 2020. Here's the surviving 2021, at least the first half. I feel like the second half of 2021 will be like more normal than the first half. But anyways, let's jump into this. We have some awesome stuff to look at today. So the first little bit is going to come from Roov. Mr. Roov here or Mrs. Sorry, uh, Mr. and Mrs. They <laughs> have made us uh, some uh, different habitats here. So the first one is a reptile house. Gotta love the uh, colorful. Um, what is this? What is this font called? I always forget. It's like Bonaboo or Boogaloo. I love the name of that Boogaloo font. So you have this and they even made a nice little interior uh, for you there. So it's a nice little shell there. So they, oh man, there's a whole bunch of them in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so 12, uh, 13, 14, there's 15 in there. I don't even know if we have that many exhibit animals. So there you go with the reptile house. Very, very nice. Savannah Bananas in the building. I was literally, she almost made me late today because we were sitting there chatting about Super Duper Secret Project and uh, <laughs> I was almost late. Uh, next one here is, let's see from Roove. This is the, the, the reptile house. This is supposed to be the Nile monitor habitat. Um, so, Roove, I did notice, be sure everyone to check your blueprints before you send them over. Your blueprint didn't fully save, and I, I kept it like this just so you could see, so you can fix it. Um, but you can kind of see this um, kind of industrial, kind of just utilitarian uh, looking Nile monitor habitat there. So the problem with your blueprints, yeah, they, they it gets kind of weird. So just always check it before you um, send it over there. So, and then the last one here is for a Chinese pangolin habitat, and kind of same thing there, buddy. It kind of ripped off half of your um, habitat there because you just got to make sure that everything is within the barrier. You see right here where the node points are? See how it kind of comes outside a little bit? It's going to not uh, It's gonna not take it. So no, no worries. Uh, no worries. Just kind of, uh, you know, in the future, check it before you send it kind of thing. Always check it before you send it because you never know. But look at the interior you have. You can kind of picture, you know, there'd be a concrete wall here and everything. But they even have all the, um, you know, little habitat going down there. So there you go. Three quick little um, buildings there and I'm sure they'll be updated to be finished out there so yeah it looks nice though right hi level wolf how you doing you have a, a lot of the same problem with yours yeah I had that problem with one of mine before in like the early days of planet zoo when I uploaded it to the workshop and then I realized yeah like half of the like backstage building wall was gone <laughs> I was like oh shoot so yeah it's it can be a little bit finicky but just like give yourself room like this is a good example right here just give yourself a little bit of room when you're oopsie when you're doing it i would like i would probably take this and just back this whole thing up to about there and then you totally would have it all in there so no worries buddy it's a learning experience and next time we will see some um some new ones there for you so cool next up we have one that i already had downloaded because this is going into the beyond uh wolf nature preserve for sure uh this is from nicholas lion rider and he made us an airboat here um, so yeah, this is going to be definitely going into our zoo and uh, yeah, if you have any sort of swamp by you or not even just any sort of um, 
you want to make it like an implied tour boat kind of thing yeah this is fantastic this is really really cool so um yeah really really like that there and it looks like it's pretty well easily recolorable if you were to actually select and everything it's just made of um, art shapes so if you really wanted to here you could just select all of these different art shapes and recolor it no problem i could almost see putting um we got to hire bold for this but to put like the beyond uh wolf nature preserve like logo on the front here or something like that but yeah from nicholas lion rider it's our weekly uh lion rider thing right it seems like um we get a weekly thing from lion rider now so <laughs> that is awesome though downloading that one there you go absolutely absolutely so yeah that is it for the individual habitats i know that was really quick and there wasn't that much but don't worry we have a lot to go over still today um so yeah like we always say for each of these from aruv and nicholas lion rider be sure to go in there uh like favorite sub on them comment on them and everything like that and yeah awesome awesome job everybody awesome awesome job you're playing hide and seek in a wardrobe which was a mistake and then you you were in narnia oh you got so hot and you found and you regret your decisions i think you should try and go back in there and try and find your way to narnia because you live in the uk you were in a wardrobe i mean doesn't every single wardrobe in the uk lead to narnia isn't that how it works um so the first zoo that we're going to go to is i'm pretty sure a complete zoo this is the Korinval zoo by mr vanderpants i love that name mr vanderpants <laughs> uh, i saw this one up on the uh front page of the workshop actually um before they had sent it over so this is a very popular file so maybe some of you have checked this out already but it looks very very cool it looks very very cool do 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 front page yeah we got some front pageness here we got some front page. This is the um, this is the zoo where the thumbnail came from. So if you were sitting there looking at the thumbnail and everything, this is the um, where that zoo is from. So yeah, we have this one, and then what else do we have? We have another one from Roof too. Um, we have a tropical beach habitat for gray seals that looked really cool. Um, and then we're gonna have the um, Hakua's back Hakuda Nordic Zoo. And then we also have a complete, this one, uh, the next one's complete for sure. The Dorothy's Ostrich Farm and Roadside Zoo by BZ. And this one looked awesome too. And it does not have nearly as many um, downloads as it should for it being a uh, fully complete zoo. This is really cool. So uh, yeah, I loaded this one in beforehand to get the screenshot. It didn't take too, too long, but it is the longest one that's gonna take to load overall. So there we go, see, not too bad, not too bad. Ooh, where am I garbage can go? There we go. Um, cool, cool. So, yeah, again, this is by MR Vanderpants. I just, I feel like when you say that name, like MR Vanderpants, you have to say it like a three musketeer, basically. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I don't think they are in chat, which is no big deal there. Um, but there is a lot to go through. So I'm going to change it up a little bit for the zoo tours that we're doing. So it doesn't take as long. I'm not going to go into Tejid Cam and then zoom out. We're just going to kind of do a combination of both where I kind of hover around Tejid Cam ish, but then kind of zoom out a little bit. So yeah, because there's a lot to go go um there's a lot to go from through here you sound like mario when you say that am i around the bounce <laughs> it looks like down here there's like a station yeah like where the guests come out so it's probably like an implied um it's a little bit loud in my ear just realized there we go uh implied like subway station or something like that but yeah look at this entranceway here very cool very uh like classical take almost um reminds me of a like a california like california uh Cal classical and california kind of mixed together so there's not the main entrance that's like a side entrance over here you can store your bikes that's awesome look at that that's so cool <laughs> that's so cool william holmes is here <laughs> what's up buddy how you doing oh man excuse me london and california very nice yeah very nice uh, look at this. I love this. The Korinval Zoo. And it has like this seating area up here. Where you, oh, it's like an education center. And I love how it has these views like out to the entranceway. But yeah, I totally see that being like a conference or education kind of center up there. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice, right? Really, really nice. I love the architecture here. Um, all right. So how many tickets do we need? How many tickets do we need today? um da, 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 about 30 tickets well i hope that each one is about a dollar because i can afford like 30 dollars right now but if it's more than that then some of you're gonna have to stay behind um all right so let's see here oh nice little um entrance plaza here look at this just look at this this is so zoo like right i say that all the time when we come across a build that's just feels like a zoo when you walk in and this is very much so this is not a uh this is not set in the united states because any kid or adult actually probably be an adult would come over here and be like i wonder if i could fall in and then they totally would there'd have to be a fence around this if this was in the united states so this is uh like a european park 
<laughs> um, cool, let's go ahead. I want to zoom out real quick and see. Uh, yeah, here's our first habitat. I think it was flamingos. I think it was flamingos. Oh man, it's a real zoo, everyone. It's a real zoo. We have flamingos as the first animal. Therefore, we can put the stamp on it. It's a real zoo. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love how much of a meme that's become in the zoo, uh, the zoo community. So that is very nice. You can recolorable. You can recolor these things. Man, I never use them anyways, but that's kind of neat. Uh, what's over this way? Let's go over this way because there's oh yeah, cafe, un cafe. Uh, they would do that, right? They would. Yep. Yep, they absolutely would. Ooh, look at the interior here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Nice little glass box uh, seating area over here, right next to the foliage and everything. Very cool. Uh, over here we have, let's see, I passed up, oh, I passed up a gift shop. I passed up a gift shop and it has interiors. Oh man. Isn't it just like so much more when people add interiors? Like it's such a pain in the butt. I was talking to, I think I was talking to Savannah about that and she was just saying, man, I, I hate doing interiors. Is that normal? I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> but it just adds so much more to a build. Um, when you do interiors, it really does like, like real life. Exactly. Gift shop last. Yep. It should be gift shop on your way out. You know, gift shop, uh, through the exit. Here's a little peacocks, a little, pe oh, I like how the, um, do the seating areas kind of like glass boxed out into the habitat there. So if you're sitting in here eating, is this an interior too? Hot dang. They did an interior in here too. Oh, it's like a bar. How do you get in here? Hold on. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself here. How do you get in there? Oh, here's a side entrance. This is like a bar. It's reserved though for private seating right now. You hate it, I do too. I do too. Yeah, look at this. It says it's reserved right now. And then you just imagine it being like private seating over here and everything. Having like a little party out here, have the peacocks and stuff like that. That is such a cool idea. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Looks like you have a backstage building set up over there as well. Very, very cool. Um, over here, we have some lemurs in a very, very well done lemur habitat. I think this might be a workshop item. I don't want to discredit them if they did build it though, but I've seen certain um, workshop items like this up. Um, really, really good use of the rope and everything. But yeah, here's our lemur habitat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, really good views. Yeah, hey, what's up Freemasons? Yeah, the outside patio, it's a really cool idea, right? Really cool idea. Awesome. Let's keep moving along here. I like these little scenes that they set up, this little waterfall and, um, you know, this little elephant scene and stuff like that. I don't do that that much, where you just kind of set up little scenes as you're walking around. Very cool. Oh, I love this vista. Look at this as you're coming around the corner here. You get the little subtle elevation change that goes down. Um, really cool uh, view looking out over there. Very, very cool. So perfectly round, Linda. Um, they put sna uh, angle snap on. So for the actual habitat, they put angle snap on embedding and probably did it every 15 degrees snapped. And then for the rope, um, that's the method of placing the plaster pillar and then doing the circle around, which is the, use this plaster pillar because it's gridded. And then you can make um, circular items using the gridded plaster piece. It's it's pretty tedious, but once you get it, there's certain tutorials up on the yub tubs for it, but um, yeah. So let's go, let's go. Um, oh my gosh, there's just so many different places I wanna go. And we didn't pick up a park map. Let's go up here. Cause it looks like we actually have a little area that goes up here. Yeah, what is this? And we gotta use the toilet? Too bad. Hold it or do it yourself. Do it on yourself, you pee peas, you pee blades. Um, <laughs> and then here, I just love the balconies that they have here, the little vista points that they have looking out over everything. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice there. Hey, what's up, um, e Ibra Ibrahim? Is it basically Abraham? <laughs> uh, over here, let's see, we have Gariels. Very nice. Have some Gariels here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, if they have crocodiles in here. They're actually going to be alligators. I just remember I had the alligator mod installed instead of the crocodiles. Looks like we have like a reptile house or like some sort of house here. Oh, there are some. There's some interior stuff. Oh, there's a spider. Let's not look at it. It's gross. There's lions. There's lions over here. Oh, it leads. This is their interior spot here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's over here. Um, this is the interior for the uh, lemurs. The very classical building, right? Very, very classical type of building there. What's up, Icy Blue? The game froze. Game froze. There we go. <laughs> I was just thinking about something real quick. Uh, very cool. Let's go. Oh, can't go that way. That's staff only. Can I go this way? No, it's staff only too. Ah! Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's go this way. 
Very cool. Let's see. I want to get a above view of the Gariels. Very cool. Oh, look, there's a bridge over there. How do we get to the bridge? Oh, there's, there's the bridge. There's the bridge. That is neat. I like that a lot. And then they can actually swim underneath it and everything. I love bridges. <laughs> my, my thing keeps freezing. I'm not sure what's going on. My computer's thinking about something in the background. Something in the background's being thought about. Oh, boy. Woo. What are we thinking about today, computer? There we go. We're doing okay. All right. So you come out of here. What does this say in front? Here. Safari. It's safari time. What's here? We have an educator point. So they've updated this recently. Ooh, bears. We have a um, the brown bear, it looks like. Right? Is that the type of bear that we have in here? I don't see it, though. Maybe he has an, oh, he has an interior. They just snoozing. Of course they are. Taking little bear snoozes. Just snoozing. But we can see their uh, habitat still. Very nice habitat. Awesome. Awesome. I like this little uh, art shape thing that they made here. Windows update? It might be. It honestly might be. Because, yeah, I, I, it normally doesn't freeze this much. It normally doesn't freeze this much. Your game just crashed? Did you? Is it your first time starting it for the day? I'm going to pause it. Maybe that's what's going on. This isn't that big of a zoo, though. I don't know why it's freezing up so much. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to pause it right there. Maybe it'll um, help it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's go into this building over here. Looks like we have... What do we have here? Oh, we have uh, the Gariel's indoor section, right? Is that what we have? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, this is the interior to the Gariel's. That's really cool. Yeah, the roof is... Holy cow, that's impeccable, right? That is a great interior. Love, love, love that. Don't throw the computer. Don't throw it. But what, can I get a hammer? Should I beat... Should I... That usually fixes it. Just beat the crap out of it. <laughs> um, ooh, I like these. These are awesome. What did you make this out of? Oh, the Arctic set, the, Ar the East Asian. That's so nice. I love that. I might have to take that <laughs> and give full credit, of course. But oh, this is really neat how it looks like one big exhibit underneath here. Yeah, so. It looks like Zooflinster's Pygmy um, Hippo Habitat. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's why I always like if the um, creators are here so we know if like they was on the workshop or if they built everything themselves. Like, oh, this looks so good. Holy cow. I love this. This interior is fantastic. What a great little interior right there. Just hit it until it works. Exactly. Just keep, just keep beating it, and then it'll eventually either turn on, or you're going to be in the same spot you were before, where it's broke still. Oh, we have a uh, river otter. So here's some of the new um, exhibits here. Ah, just hanging out back here, just hanging out, doing the thing. I was, I was wondering if they were going to have it. Okay, so let's go over here. It looks like they do have a water area and with some underwater viewing there. Uh, plenty of natural light. Yeah, the, the lighting in here. I mean, you got to take advantage of Planet Zoo's amazing lighting. I mean, look at this. I love the shadows and everything. It just looks so realistic when you're in an in, uh, interior. Man, this building just keeps going. We're going to look at this on the outside to see how big this thing is. Uh, let's go upstairs here. Looks like we get some... Man, it keeps going. <laughs> Feels like we've been in this building for uh, for half the, the visit here. It just keeps going and going and going. You get these awesome views here. What is this? Oh, the tiger? Man, man, man. Woman, woman, woman. He's one little dude. Oh, I think it's a... Uh, it hasn't uh, really stuttered that much since I hit pause. Uh oh, he disappeared. Or he might have phased through the wall. There he is. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, very cool. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, look at you're like right up on the roof with it. You're, like right along the roof line now. It's like almost green roof type thing. And then, oh yeah, back here is like a city. You see where the, um, this is the zoo wall right here. And then this is like a city, I think, on the outside that they're building. Or have built. And again, I think this is done, but it might be a work in progress still. Where's this go? And then we're back down here. Oh, I see. I see. So we kind of missed that over this way. There's even a garden underneath there. I mean, everything is just like so well done. <laughs> it's so well done. All right, let's zoom back this way. We'll go outside to our giant river otter habitat underwater viewing is it deep enough to deep dive you bet your butt it is <laughs> awesome <clears throat> this is amazing yeah a lot of work incredible exactly very very good look at all this and then we've got to remember like a lot of this was freshly put in right because this has the giant river otter so they could have just done this in the last few weeks there um over here i don't think this is, oh this is a kind of a habitat there's something back in there we'll go over there in just a second We'll go over there in just a second there. 
Nice tree planters in the middle there. Just want to get look at this building here from, you know, kind of appreciate it what we just went through there. Yeah, look at this whole complex. So what we went in through like over this way we went in. But look, there's many different, op uh, we can go in through this way. So I don't know if we, I think we went in through like a side entrance or like the back entrance, like the back entrance kind of thing. This looks like more of the main entrance to it, but what a huge, oh, and here's the Bengal Tigers too. Yeah, there he is. There's the tiger right there. Yeah, the attention to detail is, is pretty impeccable there. Very, very cool. All right, so let's see. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, here we go. Here's another habitat for the koalas. Little koala dudes. <clears throat> It was like immediate that I knew that this was going to be an Australian habitat. You could just tell, right? Oh, you get to go inside with it, kind of. You can just tell when it's an Australia type habitat. Oh, it's a positive uh, habitat because of the rocks and the foliage and everything. Wow, what a unique little habitat here, how it can uh, climb across and like perch itself up there. Just out of curiosity, where was it? I want to um, click on the thing. There they are. What's its traversability like? Okay, so it can just kind of, oh, it goes inside there. I see. I thought that they had it where, oh God, it's freezing up again. <laughs> Let's pause it. I think there's a lot of climbing stuff in this zoo, so it takes the uh, computer a little bit to process all the climbing mechanics. Oh God. Do, 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 do. Did I pause it? I paused it. We're good. Yeah, so okay, so look here. They can come across... I think it's most of the guests. There's only a thousand guests, though. There's only a thousand guests. I run Thornton Hills Zoo with like uh, two to five thousand guests, and I don't have this happen. Like, I, yeah, I don't ever have this happen in Thornton Hills Zoo where we'll just stop and then let me go for a few seconds and then stop and then get hung up. I yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, anyways, it, it works fine when it's paused, so it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, I like how it, it lets them go into this little interior section here. That's pretty neat. Oh, excuse me. Something going on in the background, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll have to check it out after this, make sure we don't screw up any of the other future ones. All right, so we took care of this section over here. Yep, we got that. Oh, you know what, we didn't go over to this side. Let's go over to this side before we kind of backtrack that way, because that was the bear there. There's a bear there. Oh man, this is something I need to do, but I'm like not looking forward to it at all is signs everywhere and like roots and stuff. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I'm terrible at signs. That's why I'm going to hire Bold to make all of my signs basically for me <laughs> in Thornton Hills Zoo. Oh, uh, look at the lions here. We have a lot of them, like four females there. Where's the, uh, oh, they have drain. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, we have drains, everyone. It's official. We have drains. What's up, Totter? What's up, Totter? All right, there's the mail. It looks like we have a lot of different viewings here. Hold on, hold on, this is a whole complex here. This is a whole thing. This is a whole thing. Bold's gonna be busy with signs, that's right. That's right, we gotta keep her busy. She can do the signs for Thornton Hills, Suyana, and um, <laughs> um, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. We're just gonna make it so that she never works in her own zoo again, basically. Oh, look at all these views here, that's awesome. Really, really good there, and staff only. Okay, so it dead ends over this way. Oh, hey, there's another animal over here. Got the tapiers. Totter, enjoy your lurk, buddy. No worries. Enjoy your lurk. Very nice. It's very uh, heavy foliage, just like it should be, right? Cool. A lot of oh, I love this. This little section down here is awesome. It's so like compact and everything, but I think it's just the addition of um, the tarps and this little mosaic kind of thing here. Man, what? A oh, right there. Bam. Bam. That's your scene right there. What's up, basic builder? Yeah, this, this, that's really good. I, I love that. I don't know what it is about this little nook. I think that's what it is, like little nooks and corners like that. Like that's, when I think of zoos, I think a lot about like these little things, at least the zoos I've been to, they're like, I have these little just nooks and crannies and just some areas that you go into the zoo and you're like, I don't think anyone's been back here like all day. I feel like I'm the only person that's been like explored this part of the zoo today. Um, I love these, those kind of areas. Very um, intimate kind of things. So what's in here? What was it? Oh, more, uh, the uh, the other lemurs? Nice. Oh, yeah, there they are. Cool. Let's see. Over behind us, we had the... Oh, Anteater. I love this. The above, um, the above uh, pathway Anteater thing. Savannah, take notes. Take notes. <laughs> it's where you can sit and rest. Yeah, the little nooks. Yeah. 
Um, no, this is um, by Mr. Vanderpants. You can see this zoo um, up on the workshop page right now. It's again, it's one of the top uh, downloaded zoos for this week. It's on the top page there. Oh, look! What a great shot! What a great shot! Hiya! It's he's like Ninja Monkey, going through the air. I love that, man. You know, I almost want to like Alt F2 this and like get a really cool shot of it with Ansel. <laughs> I love it. Actually, yeah, I am. Hold on one, one second. Y'all can't see it, but I'm in Ansel right now. I'm going to try and get a really cool shot of this because <laughs> that's a pretty cool picture. Uh, that's a cool perspective of him like that. There we go. I can get my depth perception correct. There we go. Field of view. Zoom in to at least 40 or 50 degrees. Oh, look at the flying monkey. So good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's super monkey. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's so good right there. Bam. No, wait, take it. Bam. All right, got those for later. All right, I believe I can fly. <laughs> uh, it crashed again. Ooh, twice in a row is no bueno. Maybe actually fill out the. Uh, the crash reporter. I mean, unless you fill it out every single time. I fill it out if I have multiple crashes, I'll fill it out for one of them, but like I don't do it every time. Um, over here, what's that up there? Oh, reindeer or caribou. What? Oh, that's cool. Like the Nordic uh, building they have there for it. Nice. Resist humanity, become monkey. Oh, I think gladly. If I can fly like that, sign me up. Sign me up. Oh, interesting. Wait, do they share a habitat? See the doll sheep here? I think this is a doll sheep and... No? Then where's the... Where are you from? It doesn't say they share it, but I'm pretty sure they share it. I'm almost positive they share it. Interesting. Interesting. I like this habitat, though. It's really cool. All the elevation changes are fantastic, by the way. If you're all wondering why this zoo looks really, really cool with all its nooks and crannies and just little bits, it's all the elevation changes. And they've done, I've been trying to keep note, um, not that this, like, I don't think they were going for a full unrealistic kind of thing. It does look very realistic, but I've been keeping note to all the elevation changes. They have done a very, very good job about um, either having stairs and a, like a slope path or only having slope paths for everyone. Um, you'll start to buy memberships and donations, but the first uh, membership will be for her. I am, I mean, that's fine. That's, that's something that is cool, but like you almost don't even need to mention kind of thing. You know what I mean? There's just some things that's like, that's cool to have that thought, but you almost don't even need to mention it. <laughs> uh, can you find the zoo under most popular? Can someone type out the creator's name for you? Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, the, the Asian side. The Asian side. The Asian, oh, actually it's like African Asian side. There's a lot over here, holy cow, okay. Uh, clever use of habitats, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, oh man, I need a drink real quick. Let me catch up with chat. Um, but yeah, if you, if you can't find the zoo, again, if you go on the Planet Zoo workshop page, at least for me, unless the zoo page, workshop page is different for everyone else. Yep, there it is right there. Corin Ball Zoo by M.R. Vanderpants. It's like the third or fourth one on the uh, front page there. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's go ahead and head over um, this direction. Yeah, because there's the bar. Yeah, so we were going up here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So here's another nice slope pathway, doing some curbs and everything. Very tedious work, but very nice to do. All the, the signage is awesome. Uh, Diet Pepsi's calling. Ugh, Diet Coke all the way, bro. God. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. It's a clock. I think. It, I think it's supposed to be a clock. Because it has like the... If not, then I'm not sure, but that's kind of neat. I like the interior of that. Hey, Martin, what's up, buddy? You missed um, not too, too much. Maybe about half this zoo tour and um, a few builds before that, but not too, too much, buddy. Oh, look at the savanna here. Yeah, we're going to get uh, just a big outward view of this here. Huge savanna. 
Sundial, yeah, right, Herman. Right, a sundial. That's that's what I was trying to think of, not a clock. Yeah, really cool um, uh, savanna here. Let's kind of pop down here. Looks like there's... This bridge is... Oh, yeah, the backstage. Cool. <laughs> no, Diet Pepsi. I will fight you. Rawr, over my carbonated beverage of choice. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Really good views everywhere. Holy cow. You know simply Savannah will like this exhibit? Because <laughs> her name has Savannah in it. I get it. <laughs> oh, I love this little circular outcropping right here. Yeah, very beautiful, right? Absolutely very, very beautiful. Hey, Jake, what's up, buddy? Welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, this is really well done. Love the views you get back towards the zoo, right? Oh, very, very good. Ooh, Diet Cherry Pepsi. That does sound good, though. Oh, th uh, that's clever. That's su I was always like, well, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, which is fine. But um, I was like, what is this piece right here? But that's super clever to put in that spigot for the bar area <laughs> over here. Really good job there. Cool. Let's see here. We missed this behind us, which is all. Oh, we missed just like all this view right behind us here. Again, totally European park because some American kid would go cannonball and jump in and then sue. The parent would sue after and be like, you can't just expect my kid not to know to not jump in open bodies of water. Over here, what was this, the red panda? Yeah, the red panda. Where is it? Hey buddy, where you at? I always like to see the animal. <laughs> like, so it's not like Jurassic Park. Or maybe they're hiding inside their interior. Hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. There it is. What's up, dude or dudette? These things are also just dumb adorable. I have yet to build a zoo with one of these. Like, I've only seen these in, like, other people's, other content creators' zoos and stuff like that. I've never built a habitat for one, though. Just one of those things. This is a cool shot here with that tower in the background. Oh, right there. You get, like, the East Asia pack and then that tower in the background. So good. Okay, anyways. <laughs> cannonballing at the zoo. Yep, that's me. Yep. See, me and Roof cannonballing inside the water. Just ruining it for everyone. Oh, pandas. Here's the pandas. Very, very cool um, habitat for the panda there. Do, 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 do. Yep, I like to I like to see the animals, but I don't actually add them to my zoos. I, I add more implied animals than anything. Oh, that's a cool idea with these stairs going up and then you get this like overhead view of the elephant habitat here. That's such a cool idea. I really like this one too with these slope there because you're not leaving out um, everyone. You get a little bit of a... Like, it's so cool to have the, oh, and they have the educator talk going on right there, too. We have the little ramp in the middle of the pathway. That's such a cool little thing. That's such a cool little idea. Yeah, I really like this whole um, elephant habitat area. Yeah, that's really cool. Was this made before the Aquatic Pack DLC? I think it's been made, like, evolved over time. Because we did find, earlier, we did find the uh, giant river otter habitat over here. So it seems like they've added in a few things. And then, you know, they've also had the educator talks as well. So I think they've kind of added on as time has gone. Because you also have found, we found, oh, here, like the koala habitat. We found kind of like a random Australia habitat in the middle. So I think they've been kind of just placing as Planet Zoo has evolved kind of thing. So cool, cool, cool. Um, I think that was... Here, I want to see this over here. Yeah, we didn't go over here. So let's see the details over this way. Very cool. I want to see... Yeah, can we go inside here? We can. We can go inside here. Oh, it's the interior to the um, pandas. This is the panda house, basically. Panda, 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 panda. Panda, 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 panda show. Awesome. Nothing that way. Yeah, I think that is the zoo. I think that is the zoo. What's everyone's favorite section of the zoo? This is really, really well done. I like that I can say that too, because this is a full, this is looks like it's done there. I think mine was probably this whole complex right here with the giant river otters and the tigers in this uh, dome piece and everything. Oh, and that walkway up above too. I think this little section right here was my favorite. Uh, Asia, Asia was Rue's favorite section. Very nice. Lion Rider coming in clutch with the knowing the Amanda show reference. <laughs> That's right. Evil Panda made it over here. Oh my gosh, maybe it did. 
Maybe it did. You liked Asia? I liked Asia too. Asia was really good. <clears throat> I see, Will, you like the African section? See, I think the Savannah almost does it for me too. Like that Savannah section right there is so well done. Oh, there's even, I kind of missed the backstage here. Yeah, they did. They did the whole backstage for the African section too. Yeah, the African area is really, really well done. I mean, what a great zoo. And I definitely went over it very, very quickly. I mean, we hit everything, I'm pretty sure. But there's so many little details. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I wanted to do this. Uh, there's so many little details everywhere. Um, are you kidding me? Oh, this is probably a workshop item, I think. Because otherwise, why would they do the interior out here? Unless they're going to expand it even more. Oh, my gosh. Are they going to expand it even more? They might be. Actually, yeah. With that in the background like that. They should keep that right there. It looks really good. Um, man, maybe they are expanding out more. But look at the, the city streets here and everything. Really well detailed. Holy smoke -a I simp for elephants. <laughs> uh, they have all the interiors ready to go here, too. Like, all the interiors are kind of ready to... Looks like they might be making some stuff in here. Oh, my gosh. I swear to Bob, if they actually are moving on more... <laughs> uh, why not create a red panda habitat? It's not that I don't want to, it's just that it hasn't come up yet. You know what I mean? It just hasn't really... Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Is this City Skylines? Is this what Planet City could look like if they ever decide to make simulation games again? Like this little... Um, a Whack Arnold's? We have ourselves a Whack Arnold's over here? McDonald's? Oh, man. Again, I want to know if they've made all these or if these are workshop items that they placed down. Because if so, that would in, that would uh, imply oops, uh, that they're going to keep expanding out the city and the zoo and everything, right? This looks like a parking garage that's kind of working. Man, man, <laughs> that's really good. So awesome. Hey, this one, again, if you um, haven't seen it on the front page of the workshop, this is Cor... Here, it's right down here because I keep mispronouncing it and they have the name of it right here. Cornval Zoo by M.R. Vandepans. M.R. Vandepans. <laughs> so be sure, definitely, definitely go down, uh, sub to this, uh, like it, favorite it, comment on it, tell them how much you enjoy it and everything like that. And yeah, what a fantastic, fantastic build there. Uh, and I'm really, really glad that they shared it to us there. So cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next project there. Got to get this. Yes. Uh, thank you, um, Holly. Heather. Heather, thank you for finding it and uh, linking it there. Um, next up, we're going to look at another complete zoo. This one is a little bit, I think, on a smaller scale. I think it is. I think it is. But I've been watching BZ upload uh, pictures of this zoo for um, the last few months. And, <coughs> excuse me. What? Um, yeah, this is another complete zoo. This is the Dorothy's Ostrich Farm and Roadside Zoo by BZ. And I just realized, I think I goofed. I think I goofed the name in... The description i think i put ostrich zoo instead of ostrich zoo i sure did i put ostrich what the heck is an ostrich i made a new animal everyone and it's called the ostrich and it will be coming to a zoo near you soon the mcdonald's is really good yeah is haku here haku what's up buddy we're gonna look at haku zoo today as well do 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 yeah, really good theme throughout. Yeah, it was really good. Yep. Uh, when we log out, shall we guess what the animals are uh, walking on the loading screen? We gotta guess the, the animals. All right, what's this first one? That's a cheetah. That's a cheetah lemur. MS Queen. Oh, wait, I can't do that with you. You have to have a different one. I can't do the William with you. Queen. <laughs> Just Queen is here. I think it's a cheetah, a cheetah lemur. I think this one might be taking a little bit longer to load than uh, than the other zoo, so I might have been wrong in the thinking that this was going to be a smaller zoo than the previous one. I think that more of the map is filled out with this one than the previous zoo, because they did like a huge, I think this is the build, where they do a big backstage area, and it's like super realistic. I'm super, really excited to look at this. Do, do, do. Speaking of cheetahs, they don't sprint in game. I have never seen them do it. I built three cheetah habitats, uh, um, two for one-off habitat builds and one for Thornton Hills Zoo. One of my um, cheetah habitat one-off builds, I made um, I made sure to give them a long enough like area to, oh, I'm excited. Uh, um, I'm gonna pause real quick to like do sprints and stuff like that. And I've never seen them do it. I've seen them like kind of gallop, <laughs> I almost want to say, but never like full on do a cheetah sprint. 
But in the trailer they do? Hmm. The jungle map, you're already killing your PC. Haku, I saw it and we're, and oh my gosh. The fact that you're placing down, it looks so good, but your, your jungle open grassland, the fact that you're using the Vox, the pixel grass that we already have in game, and you're placing down in-game plants on top of it to give it that extra look. It looks so good, but I can't, your CPU probably hates you so much. <laughs> oh man hey what's up domez uh because sports ball means no worries buddy you gonna work on swamp yes yep we are enjoy sports ball buddy enjoy your weekend sports ball and we will be looking at um we will be doing some building um in the swampy project after this so okay um this is the project i thought it was yeah this is the this is the project i thought it was this is just incredible uh first off we're gonna note landscaping so the landscaping even these canyon walls and everything like this. This feels like the opening to like, or this feels like a like an Independence Day like action shot when they're like going through and floating tree. Pew! Nailed it. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Yeah, desert biome. I don't. I want to use the desert biome a lot more. It looks so impressive. It looks so sick and impressive. It's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> we got ourselves a floater here. Uh, it happens. It happens. But yeah, as we come forward here, just little details and everything coming in already. Look at that. Who's sneaky? Oh, is there something in the water? There's something in the water, y'all. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Hold on. What's supposed to be in here? Oh, not okay. No, it's not uh, that. Okay, it's just holding in the water. Cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. I don't even know where to start. The whole thing? Not on my watch. <laughs> So it's an ostrich farm. So I don't I, I don't think like think of this so much as a zoo, but like a like a local farm kind of thing, basically. Yeah, look at all these little uh what is he using here? Oh my gosh, look at look at that to, to put in little rocks. Use like the the upside down African pots and what are these? Since when have oh African decorative rocks. Oh heck. Oh heck. Let's try to unpause this zoo and see how. Yeah, I'm gonna unpause this zoo and see if we get the hangups. Uh, oh, petting zoo! Here you go. It's a petting zoo right here. All right, so head on in. We got some ostriches. Oh, um, what was what's our albino ostrich's name at Thornton Hill Zoo? Snowflake or whatever it is made their way over here. It's different. Yeah, sugar, sugar. Yeah, sugar made its way over here. We're we're loaning sugar to um, the farm. There, so <laughs> over here we have aardvarks. This is so like, we have a farm just like, not in the desert biome, but um, we have a farm that is just like this, um, where I'm from with like a petting zoo and everything. This is, wow, vibes, vibes. Got ourselves a llama. Sugar. <laughs> These, this is a vibe right now. Let's see over here. Oh, is that a little baby warty? It's a baby warty. I don't think I've ever seen a baby warthog in this game. <laughs> it's too stinking adorable. It looks like a dug almost. Minus the snout, but yeah. Awesome. Who we have over here? Oh, some ruse. Got some ruse there. Hanging out. This is such a cool idea. And it's so petting zoo-like, right? Like, there's no rhyme or reason. We have, like, gazelle, kangaroos, baby warthogs, aardvarks, llama, ostriches on the other side. It's just like a real petting zoo where it's like, uh, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Cool, so there is the petting zoo. Um, let's go. Are there interiors to, like, everything, too? Yeah, basically. <gasps> oh, it's like a gift shop. Oh, I love this interior. Love these, yeah, these out-of-box ideas. Right, it's, you know, not just making your normal zoo every single time. It's something a little bit different. Oh, that's such a cool idea. Putting, like, the, you know, the placemat holding or whatever you want to say right there. And you get these really cool views there of the, uh, with those rhinos, yeah. Oh, look at that bridge. Look at that bridge. All right, I think there's something before here. Looks like no interior over there. A little car lot. A little car lot there. <laughs> Let's go across this way first. We'll go straight across because the rhino's got my, uh, have my eyes here. Oh, you know what? One second. There we go. 
Cool. Come across here. Let's see. What is this here? Carnivore Corner. We have Carnivore Corner. Oh, yeah. Look at it. You have a... Uh, is that a black one? Yeah. The, uh, the black uh, Jaguar here. They get this long, skinny habitat right there. Two of them, I think. Oh, no, just the one. Thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, no, there are. There's two of them there. Is it a rhino or a hippo? I think it was a rhino across there. Did we kind of miss it? Oh, yeah, we kind of skipped over it a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, it's a rhino. It's a rhino. Where's this habitat go? Can it go underneath here? No, it can't fit underneath there. Hmm. Stream's lagging so much. Hmm, I'm not getting anything on my end there. Is this pretty good on my end? Maybe give it a refresh. Maybe give it a quick refresh. Uh, looks over here we had zebras. Is this a farm or a conservation center? Yes. I think mainly farm. Like a farm converted into like a kind of zoo thing. Oh, this is one of the first shots I feel like I saw from BZ on the Bro Nation. Look at this. Look at this this right now holy cow you've seen a city a city zoo creation where the creator built skyscrapers around the zoo that's amazing that's pretty amazing <clears throat> oh hit stop because you were loading up the map that means it wasn't just the street it means your whole computer went <laughs> oh, what did they use here for the oh because we have the teeny tiny glass pieces Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, look, they even made like a little background too. Little fake feeder with all the plants in there. Love it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, the food for the giraffe. Exactly. They made, every look, you even have the heater up here made out of individuals things. If some of you want to get an idea of how you kind of make these things. Look. That's the New World Decorative Light Tube. And then they used the side. They turned this sideways to get the itty bitty lines right there. So that just kind of gives you an idea again, right? Like, you know, don't look at a piece how it's supposed to. Look at it outside the box a little bit. Even this, even this, these are the Australian logs, you know, stacked on top of each other a million times. Just, <laughs> The creativity is insane. You, you delete everything, Andy? Yeah, yeah. You just delete it all. Yep. Like, how how do you even? How do you even? Very, very cool. Let's, kill, let's stick over here to Carnivore Corner, then we'll circle back around. Um, on the right-hand side here... Lions! We have some lions. Again, this idea of the little pebbles and stones down here using the... Um, the African pots and the small decorative rocks and everything, that's so creative. That's so heckin' creative. Uh, here we have, what are these, tigers? Yep, we have tigers with a little baby tiger. Little baby dude. Hi. Meow. We have a bear over here. And again, I know, I'm sure some of you are going like, wow, these habitats are really bad, they're really bare, and they're not, like, they should be made better and stuff. Don't, don't think of it like that with this kind of build. This is like a totally separate kind of like, purposefully made kind of thing like if you've been to a zoo like this you know what kind of vibe they're going for but yeah don't look at this as like oh wow they, this this creator doesn't like animal welfare no it's just this is the type of build that this is it's kind of a janky type little thing it's very very cool it's very clever um let's see back here manure i'm gonna guess that's manure pile there <laughs> i rescue after i finish unity in 100 years yeah there you go oh yeah that'd be really cool um let's travel back this way down the road <clears throat> you're so impatient with your builds and now you see this yeah no it's here it's like what the heck how do i even they oh man he made this before um aquatic pet came out Ma imagine if he came back here and redid all these buildings with the wood um structure there it looks so good as is but now with that new uh, recolorable wood oh that looks so uh so much better here's the camels you get lion riders uh mod in here as well <laughs> his bacteria and camel mod uh do, 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 do. Hey, Sylvan, what's up there, buddy? Knowing the pieces is really good. Yep, that's one of the things that holds me back is knowing what pieces there are. Um, I gotta start, yes, favoriting pieces. I, I harp on that so much. Favoriting pieces is a huge thing. Uh, all right, let's look at the back here because this is like, I saw BZ sharing um, a lot of pictures of this stuff here. Look at the backstage area that they've built. 
get just shut the front door shut it and lock it and take the key and just throw it down in a lava pit because <laughs> like this is the kind of stuff i live for this is the kind of stuff that just because this is like you would see this right not even like take out the fact that we're at a farm or whatever right you would see this at a zoo. Most zoos do this kind of thing, right? Where they either, not like grow their own food, but they have like a horticulture area or agriculture area. Um, yeah, this is so, or greenhouses for the plants and stuff. More Like so many zoos, it's not just about the animals, it's about the plants and everything too, right? It's about the plants and everything. And just, come on! <laughs> come. I quit. I quit. I'm done. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got my dog excited too. <clears throat> I got my dog excited. Is he even sprinkle wait, what's the sprinkler piece? Oh, we actually have a sprinkler in game. <laughs> That's what the And you can recolor it? Oh my gosh, you can even recolor it. Murphy is angry with me quitting. <laughs> Sprint, yep. Don't quit, get inspired. No, that's exactly right. That's the exact right. Um, <laughs> that's the exact right uh, reaction to have. Just look at this, and instead of going, I can never just be like, no, I could do something similar and get inspiration from it. Yeah, no, that's that's a great way to put it. All right, let's let's go to another thing where I'm gonna want to quit the game. Hey, look it. BZ made a farm, <laughs> like literally. There's. You made what the heck? What is this game called? Do you guys know what game this is that we're uh, looking at right now? Like, that's kind of cool. You could do a stop motion thing with this like that. I, I haven't heard of this game before. I think it's called Real Life in a in a game form. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's seriously impressive. Crop circles. Crop circles, everyone, aliens. Aliens, or he drew boobs, but either way. Or maybe the aliens drew boobs. Farming simulator, yeah. Rethink life. I run out of patience too fast in this game, seriously, right? It's called Planet Zoo, I don't... No, Planet Zoo is that one that came out that has... No, this isn't Planet Zoo. This is a different game, I think. This is a different game. But yeah, they even made crop circles. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, okay, so there's one half of the zoo here. Jeez, or the project. Let's let's go back across here. Man, talk about, oh, that's such a good idea right there. As you go across, I can already hear that noise. Oh, it's a silo. I totally missed this. Silo. All right, let's go back to the actual, I think this is like the actual farm part now. So Ostrich Farm, here we go. Planet Zoo IRL edition. I think that's what, I think this is a new update to it. <laughs> Going over the, <laughs> anyways. Uh, cool, let's head in here. Oh, look down here. Hello, Mr. Buffalo Bison. Looks like we have some interior stuff over this way. Can I come in? I am. I'm gonna come in. Whoa! Oh, ostrich eggs. It's a it's an ostrich egg place with the heating lamps and everything. You gotta stop cattle from escaping, right? Yep. 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 That's really cool. Oh, look at back here. They have all of them on. Like it's like a research kind of or like a. Yeah, that is like a little research center for them. Oh man. BZ because now we could put the um now they could put these little decal things on there right oh there's so many good things that they could like add to this now that the aquatic pack has come out like that kind of stuff oh it's so good either way I'm just saying like you can just think of how they could like improve it now that the aquatic pack is out um that's such a cool little thing there very nice let's see here over this way more just backstage kind of stuff there there's sugar. Yeah, whenever someone does, oh man, they broke the door. I think this place could use some uh, some donations. I think they could use some more donors, some more sponsors or something like that. 
Looks like they got some doors off the hinges and stuff, so. <laughs> Janky details for the win. Like, those kind of details are what makes a, <clears throat> makes a place feel alive, right? It gives a character. It gives it a story behind it. Just gives it a little bit of something extra there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Awesome. So there is that. Let's move forward here. Looks like this is a feeding area for the uh, bison. Totally, yeah. They'd probably be like little feeders right there to throw in there. I'm guessing. Hey, Bold. What you say, Bold? Welcome in, Bold. <clears throat> bold, you are going to have to uh, rewind today. We have just looked at some dumb, impressive stuff. You are going to have to rewind to look at the zoo before this and a little bit before in this zoo, too, because you missed about half. But, oh, they're just people are doing mad work today. All right, let's go to the right here first. Do, do, do. Oh, look at, look at how it um, unveils itself as you're coming forward. The ostrich egg. That's so cool. Hey, have a good one there. Um, d -d -d Clooster. I like that name. Clooster. Have a good one. No worries. Uh, be sure to watch the rest of it back um, after it processes and everything. Oh, look at this interior here. I love the uh, half a bike hanging up there. This feels like a uh, like a Longhorn or like a Chili's or something like that with like the random stuff on the wall. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, what's up, Citron? How are we doing there? Oh, I mean, this totally feels like a, it's just like a local bar or something like that. Yeah, there's a really good room there. This is really impressive. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, next, I just, I just find myself just sitting here staring like, I could just stay in here forever. I just want to hang out in here. Let's go up this way. Oh, look at, look at, look at. You know, real quick, I'm wondering if... No, he didn't. Never mind. Never mind. Um, let's go look at this real quick. What do we have here? Ah, oh, chimps! Or, ah, uh, chimps. Uh, Lola and gorillas. Interesting that they, you know, go out into this little area. Oh my gosh! Just don't get any ideas, primates. No ideas about thinking that you can King Kong your way over, like, to the other side or whatever. Thanks, Heather. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time with it. All right, let's head up or over this way first. What do we have in here? I think this might be implied. Yeah, this is implied exhibit. Whatever it is, I'm about it. I am about it there. Uh, what do we, are we? Are we all gonna die at, at when it, when when Andy's done counting down? All right, stream ends when Andy's done counting down. I think that's what's going on. Andy has decided. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This is cool. Like a big old complex here. What in the heck? Oh, is that Bonobo? Yeah, there are no chimps and different primates in here. What the heck? I love whenever people can make really, really impressive climbing structures. I am terrible at climbing structures. Um, whoa. So yeah, whenever people can make really, really impressive ones like this, I'm just always blown away. They have little, like, windows between each other. Is that what it's supposed to be? It almost looks like there's supposed to be a window between these two to, like, hang out or, like, kind of see each other or whatever. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, it's attached to a big little barn. Just out of curiosity, is there? No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. Over this way... Yeah, I love this uh, lowland gorilla habitat with all the uh, the tank trucks and everything like that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, see the park in person? Definitely, definitely. There's so much. I think that is it. I think that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Nope. Almost missed it. Um, if It's funny. Like, when you walk into somewhere, you're, like, kind of like, am I supposed to come in here? Is this, like, <laughs> that's how, like, real, like, these kind of things really feel like. Because it's always, like, in work and everything. Oh, look how they uh, implied exhibit and kind of added in their own um, foliage and stuff to the uh, exhibits there. A lot of cool implied exhibits. What is that? The mile? Oh, no, it's the Komodo Dragon. What is this? Oh, the exhibit board turned. That's clever. That's really clever. Cool. Okay. Oh, and then in the middle here, there was a turtle. I didn't even see it here. A little turtle, turtle habitat. Very good. Okay. Do we see everything? I wanted to keep going. 
<laughs> I wanted to keep going to keep seeing more stuff because man, man, just this back here was incredible. This back here was just on another level. So cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head on out of this zoo and go to the next one there, which is gonna be by Rue. But yeah, definitely this one. Uh, be sure to go and favorite, like this one, comment on it, let them know how much you enjoy all the detail work um, that they have made in here. And yeah, give it a download to go to it yourself. Just look, look at all the details, come on. Come on there, so awesome. Let's go ahead and head out to the next one there, which again, I think this is gonna be a habitat um, from Roov. Let's see here, we have that done, that done. Done, 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 done. Cool, yes, yeah, so we have two more things to look over. Uh, tropical Beach House, or Beach House, Beach Habitat for a gray seal by Roov, and then another zoo file, the Hakutu, Hakuda Nordic Zoo by ha um, Haku. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see, yep, so we looked at that, so do that, looked at that. Uh, right there, there we go. So all right, this is gonna be another Habitat here by Roov. So excited to see this. How people can pull off the jank look in this game, because it's so hard, it is, the game looks really good, so it's hard to make it look crappy. <laughs> So, all right, so here is a habitat that you can download and kind of start your own zoo with and everything. One of those, it's like a zoo file there. So this is from D.H. Roof in chat there. Is Andy out? Andy, have a good one. I'll see you later, buddy. <clears throat> so, all right, here we go. Uh, so this is a big old seal habitat. Let's see here. There's our seals hanging out next to their little, <laughs> their uh, dockside, their waterside um, resort there. Very good, huge open, uh, water area where they can dive and everything. Oh, yeah, my seals are actually, my female seals are actually manatees because I have the mod installed for them to be manatees instead of uh, seals right now. So, <laughs> oh, well, it still works. Oh, look, we even have an underwater viewing area here. Even have an underwater viewing area. <laughs> no, they're still good looking. Yeah, no, but I totally forgot that we had uh, manatees installed there. So cool. Yeah, there's your um, seal habitat made by Rube there. And if you'd like to kind of work, look, you can kind of work off of it that way or work off. You can kind of use this as a starting point uh, for a zoo there for you. So cool, cool. Very good, Rube. Very good. Now, is this if I zoom in, it's going to turn into that? Yeah, this still hasn't been updated. You see how it looks like this isn't a knock on line, right? Or anything, obviously. It's a work in progress. But you see when we're far away, how they look like seals still. But if we kind of zoom in, then they turn into the manatees. It's because the lods haven't been updated. That's, that's funny. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and head on out. Be sure to go over and like and favorite that one, too. Very good build there, Roof. The game supports mods? Yeah. It sure does. You have to kind of do it. It doesn't directly support them like through the workshop or anything. So you have to like kind of manually install them, but um, it does. Yeah, there's, you can switch out animals for other animals. So you can switch out the, like there, I switched out the female seal for manatees instead. So the female seal won't be in the game anymore, but manatees will be, so. So cool, did we share the um, link there as well for Rube? Thank you, thank you. Heather, yeah, be sure to check out the Tropical Beach by Roove there. Awesome, awesome. And last but not least, we're going to look at the Hakutu, Hakuda. I see, see Hatu. Um, Nordic uh, Park there. Cool. Yeah, the rock work was really good in the underwater viewing. The waterfall is really good. Yeah. Yep, there we go. We also got a new mod from Lion Rider. Um, not new, but um, we're going to use it in... Uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. I always forget the name of our zoo. Um, it's a eagle mod and it replaces out Estan Wolf's creepy panda that he put in Santa's workshop. It replaces out the creepy panda for um, an eagle uh, mod. So we're gonna put that in there. So cool, this is by Haku here. And last week we saw a zoo from Haku that was amazing. So I am very, very excited to jump into this one as well. So the best place to start is the front, the beginning. There we go. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl here. Are we paused? We're on pause, there we go. Throw a barrier on it too and uh, steal the whole thing. Oh, you could do that, yes. You could steal the whole thing, ha ha ha. All right, let's go ahead and head on in to Haku's Zoo. Ha ha ha. This one's a little old, so we should judge it even more so and be just critical and make them feel bad. 
<laughs> no, it's actually, that's kind of cool to look at like older projects just to kind of see like either like how far you've come or maybe you'll see something here like, oh, I forgot I did that idea. That was a cool idea. I should do that again. I do that a lot of times with my stuff. Um, cool, let's send on into the zoo. I like that little entrance plaza there, the very naturalistic one there. We have a little interior here for our um, chief beef and everything. Very good. Let's see, first animal, doll sheep. Now everyone, do we, is this a real zoo? Cause the first animal's doll sheep and not flamingos. Is this steel, is it steel? Is this steel a real zoo? Is this still a real zoo? I think so. I think we'll give it a pass for now. Cause it is an animal still. <laughs> oh, it's a really good view though, yeah. That's a really nice view there. Open your first sandbox and current sandbox. Yeah, exactly. My first sandbox is my current sandbox, which is Thornton Hills Zoo. <laughs> I've just been continuously working at it for a year and a half. Uh, cool, let's go. Let's see, I want to go more towards... That staff over this way. Okay, so let's go this way. Oop, one second. Nice little off crop right here for some food. Little seating area for the food to overlook the doll sheep there. Nice little nature walk through here. Oh, I love the nature walk as you're coming through here. All secluded in. Your, your foliage work is still right on the money there. All right, and that leads over to that way. Um, let's see. There it is. Here's the second way around. Yeah, your foliage work has still stayed right on. <laughs> Very much so. Let's see. Oh, what are you? Snow leopards. The snow leopards. <clears throat> I like the mountain that you built in the back there with the rocks added onto it. Really cool snow leopard. Um, oh wow, they can go like way up there. Yeah, look at them way up there, creeping around, being creepy creeps. That's so cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, the mountains. Yeah, the mountains are really good, right? Yeah, that's a that's really good habitat there. Nice, nice, nice. I noticed you used this a few times, so it looks like you were really happy with this structure. I do the same thing where you're like, you know, that's a good structure. I'm going to keep reusing it. And you kind of plop it a few areas. Awesome. Good idea there. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. Over here we have... Oh, koalas. We have some koalas. Are there any up in the trees or anything? There he is. Yeah, look at him. Right up there. Hanging out. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> Do you show work in progress these? I feel like you mentioned this before. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I, yep, what Bold said. Yes, I do, yep. The only thing I ask with work in progress, Zeus, is um, that you, like if we look at it, wait to show it off again afterwards until there's like a sizable amount done so that we're not looking at it like every single week and be like, I laid a path this week. Like, okay, like do like a whole section and then show, you know what I mean? Um, we've had uh, some instances in the uh, past with that, but. Uh, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, we definitely show work in progress stuff. Let's see, over this way. Kangaroos! So this is definitely an Australia pack inspired area. Oh, I like the, the little kangaroo section. You have the, some of the new rocks in there too. Look at him just hanging out there. <laughs> I like this uh, kangaroo habitat a lot. You have an interior here for the koalas. Yep, for the koalas. Uh, let's see, your gardening is still way on point with the curbs and all that fun stuff. Again, your foliage has stayed on point. Um, let's see here, where are we at? Let's go this way. Leading up into an Asian area. Let's see, red panda. Does that have this whole area here? Yep, look, they're there over there. There's big water in the front there. So I think we'll get some better views over that way of them. But this is a really good, good uh, overlook of the whole thing there. You had a dream last night that you had you had actually something done for this? <laughs> Only in your dreams, though, right? <laughs> oh, you have to go? All right, Haku, have a good one. Have a good one. You can watch back the rest of the uh, tour later on. Oh, yeah, here's the uh, closer views of the uh, pandas here. Very nice. There's a lot of them. They got a whole bunch of friends to hang out with. Nice. Okay, and then over on this side, we're kind of overlooking the rest of the zoo. Like the again, the elevation changes are great. You get just these really cool views overlooking everything there. 
All right, let's head back over this way. What do we have in here? Oh, um, Komodo dragons. There's a few different um, areas to view them here. I like how it kind of snakes in inside the habitat right there. Then you have this one that goes on the perimeter as well. And you get kind of a view. Oh, no, they blocked it. But you almost got a view of into the other habitat. Very nice. I like the yeah, the snaky paths all over the place there. Very good. Cool. Let's see. It's over this way. Oh, what's this? There's actually something over here. Oh, oh, it's the interior for the uh, leopards. Or the snow leopards there. And they can come down this way. Yep, and that leads out to the rest of their habitat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This comes all the way down and then leads back out here. Okay. And that was just the entrance, right? Yes. So we can go this way. Yeah, that was a cool little sneak around. I didn't expect to see the backside of the mountain uh, to have that there. So, Otters! Hey, this is new. This is newer, right? We got some Ot airs. <laughs> uh, so this is made of some aquatic pack stuff here. Oh, very cool. I like the shallow waters for them. Oh, there's one right up next to us. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Really cool with the weeping willows. The weeping willows are the best, aren't they? The weeping willows are the best. Some underwater viewing too. I think they can dive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, look at the underwater here. I think they actually, sh um, I think Aku shared a picture in Discord of this right here because uh, the underwater foliage here is awesome. Elevation ch uh, changes are your nemesis. Can never think of reasonable ones. Um, I live in a very flat part of Germany. I hear you, yeah, here in Illinois, it's very, very flat as well, but even subtle ones, even very subtle, like hills or just like slight elevation changes up or whatever uh, can really make a world of difference. Is that a baby? It's a baby. What's up, baby? <laughs> nice. And over here goes to the Otter Restaurant, where they serve up fresh cut otter daily. Only the freshest of otter is served. Uh, over here, I mean, look, it's like a huge drop off right there. It's one of those, um, what do you call those waterfalls or the uh, pools? The uh, infinity pools, right? Oh, a hippo, he's a hippo. Um, infinity pools where it looks like it drops straight off. That's really cool looking. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, an interior. Ah, for our rhinos. Rhino interior. Very cool. I think there's another one over this way, too. Yep. Let's take a look at this on the outside. That's really cool. I like this over here. This little pad that they have over here. It almost looks like Jurassic Park. I don't know. Probably because of the the different fencing or whatever, but this reminds me of Jurassic Park over there. <laughs> awesome. And then I think this was hippos here. Yeah, these are some hippo. Some hippo habitats there. Cool. And then, oh, wow. Look at this huge. This huge glass pane for you here. Oh, but then you block most of it with the, the cover. You got to get rid of this cover. So you can see, man, this is a glass of uh, water there. A water a wall of water for the hippos that's so cool oh there's one right there there's one right there what's up buddy <laughs> got too big but then once i'm done building looks very small yeah very slight incline um and it's the worst don't do that no do do that because it looks awesome hey bz dude we just got done looking at your build and everyone was floored by your farm and just the whole thing um all together everyone was just jaw to the floor i quit planet zoo for like a quick second i literally got up i put my headphones down and i walked out i walked out of the room because i i just i, I don't know <laughs> uh yeah so no what's up buddy good to see you though so yeah this is a really nice looking zoo here and i think that is it yeah that is it there so Again, this was an older zoo from Haku. We looked at one of their more uh, current work in progresses last week. So if you want to see like how they've kind of come or like uh, their, how their style has stayed the same or changed a little bit, you, can, oh, you know what, we missed something over here. You can kind of go back and take a look there. Um, but yeah, their foliage is still, oh, it's not a habitat. I thought it was a habitat. Their foliage is still way on point there for sure. Um, like it has been. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see where they've kind of evolved their, um, 
their building skills and everything like that. So yeah, it's really cool. Again, yeah, I think Bold mentioned it's kind of a cool idea to go back and look at your very first like sandbox or franchise zoo. Maybe some of you even saved your zoos from uh, beta days. I know some of some people save their zoos in beta through habitats and stuff like that. Look at those zoos and then look at where you're at now. So if you're ever feeling frustrated about something, just be like, you know what? I have gotten better at this game though in the last year and a half, so at least you can say that kind of thing. So, um, cool, but yeah, that is gonna do it this week for the community showcase. Um, what we're gonna do is, what time is it? I, I ended right when I wanted to, I'm like five minutes off when I wanted to end. What we're gonna do is I am going to end the stream now because I wanna eat a quick lunch so that I don't have to interrupt the stream later. I'm going to end the stream now, but, 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 we're gonna come back in probably about a half hour to 45 minutes. Um, and we're going to be doing some, we're going to be doing some, where is it? There we go. There we are. Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. So we're going to be coming back. I'm just going to load it up now so that we're ready to go uh, building that. But yeah, we're going to be building Claire's uh, restaurant. I'm really excited for that. We have some awesome concept art and uh, bar mills to look at for Claire's restaurant. And then we might be starting a train station as well. So I definitely have some ideas. Um, for the build here, I I didn't build this morning. I wanted to really badly, but I held off on building because I knew I wanted to stream later today. But yeah, I wanna make sure that I go ahead and uh, eat real quick so that we don't interrupt the stream and everything. Look at what S Dad, S Dan did, early, did uh, in his stream. Look at what he did. Just look at this. S Daddy coming through. We can keep him around, can't we? We, we can keep him around, I think. He does all right. He does, I think he's all right. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna keep it right there. I'm gonna go and pause it. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna see this view and everything. So yeah, hey, thanks so much everyone for sending your stuff in there if you did. I uh, appreciate the heck out of you always for sending stuff in. Um, and yeah, thanks so much to all of our channel members there, whether you're in the builder, designer, or CEO level. level I appreciate the heck out of you. So hey, yeah, again, we'll see you in about um, yeah, let's say half hour to 45 minutes, all right? And we'll start building today. So hey, have a good one if I don't see you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.